In this problem, we're asked to come up with a unit vector, so that's a vector with length 1, that has the same direction as this uh, vector u that's given as negative 1, 2. Now remember that we can represent these two-dimensional vectors as a line segment uh, from the origin 0, 0 to the point negative 1, 2. So I'll just quick sketch something like that there. Um, so this could represent the vector u. Now you certainly don't have to graph the vector uh, to solve this problem, but I just want to give us uh, a visual. So we want a vector that has that same length, but or that same direction, I'm sorry, but has length exactly 1. Um, it might help to note what the length of u is. So remember, um, the length of the vector u is equal to the square root of, well, u dot u, but so it's just the uh, sum of each component squared. So negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. So in this case, that's the square root of 1 plus 4, so square root of 5, which is not 1. So uh, the vector right, he right now has a length greater than 1. And so we're looking for just a vector kind of like this that has length exactly 1. So remember that uh, any scalar multiple of u is going to have the same direction, or I should say any, any positive uh, multiple, scalar multiple of u would have the same direction. If we multiplied by a negative number, then that would reverse the direction down kind of this way. So we know uh, I want to multiply by a scalar. That'll keep the same direction. Uh, right now, this thing has length square root of 5. So if I multiply, oops, if I multiply by... 1 over the square root of 5 out front, then that should give this thing uh, length 1. So 1 over the square root of 5 times u, negative 1, 2. Which, by the way, when you're doing uh, arithmetic later on, sometimes it's helpful to keep the vector in this form, uh, written as a scalar times a vector with integer entries. Um, so I just want to note that before I multiply this out. But if I did perform the scalar multiplication here, then that would give me the vector negative 1 times 1 over the square root of 5, so negative 1 over square root of 5, and then 2 times 1 over the square root of 5, so 2 over the square root of 5. And so this would be our unit vector. Now just, um, we could verify this real quickly, just make sure that we have a vector uh, with length 1 uh, by taking, and finding the length of this guy. Well, and actually, here, let me just go ahead and note, we had a theorem uh, earlier that said that a scalar, length of a, a scalar times a vector u here is equal to the absolute value of that scalar, which since this is positive, absolute value is 1 over the square root of 5, times the length of u, which the length of, of u we found was the square root of 5, so these cancel. So this thing does have length 1. Our, our process uh, is valid. We verified there.